Hey, uh, quick disclaimer, um, I think I've been getting sick lately, so apologies if my voice cracks or anything like that in this video. It has come to my attention that there has been rather a rather contentious internet drama involving furries and anti-furries. Now, what is a furry? From what I can tell, the internet labels anyone who is into fictional anthropomorphic humanoid characters a furry. So, why are there so many people against a sim such a simple enough type of fictional character? That is because the furry community has a notoriety of making un an unnatural amount of suggestive content, rivaling the likes of Roblox. It's no secret that the community also has grooming and zoophile problem. Thus, the anti-furry. What's an anti-furry? From what I can tell, anti-furries are people who try are trying to protect themselves from the degenerate side of the furry community who are most likely who are most centralized on military related media. <clears throat> Tanks, missiles, machine guns, you name it. The anti-furries who have the biggest reputation are those who post animations of the sl of the slaughter of furries such as Major Klug with an extreme amounts of gore to counter the suggestive animations furries are known to make. So, what are my thoughts on this vast internet war? Well, here's what I have to say. There's nothing inherently wrong with a furry in and of itself. I myself enjoy the anime cat girl stereotype, otherwise known as Nikos, and the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. However, I've classified the furries into three groups. The first are just normal people who are simply enjoy furry content but are not fanboys or fangirls. This is where I stand. The second are furries who put passion and effort into the works that they make for the furry community, but only make mildly suggestive content if they do at all. The third group is what the furries are known for, and what most people think a furry is. Perversion, degeneracy, you know the drill. Just like any community, there are decent and extreme versions of every fandom. That is not to say that the anti-furries are, uh, are also not at fault. Many anti-furries make unnecessary and somewhat insensitive memes of furries. They have a reputation of act for acting genocidal and sadistic towards furries. They raid, anti -fur they raid furry discords with gore and, ironically enough, NSFW. Again, there are decent enough people in both sides. Klug and the CEO of Trolling are also good examples. So, what should change? For the anti-furries, instead of just harassing the community as a whole and going after people without discernment, try to help the individual and report any unwanted sexual behavior in the wrong places, instead, instead of telling others to kill yourself and other such behavior as it simply just lowers your reputation and will accomplish nothing. As for the furries, enjoy the work you put into what you love, but tone down the explicit content and be more understanding of those who stay in way and dislike your content instead of labeling them as Nazis and maybe try not to conform outsiders to your thinking. Everyone has a limit to how much NSFW media they can take, and you need to be you guys need to be more strict when it comes to minors entering your community. That is all all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. This is Gamer Guy out.